Mr. Narendra Modi is the most popular leader in the world. With 76% approval rating, the Prime Minister of India tops the list of the most popular leaders. 94.6 million followers on X, 88 million followers on Instagram, 22.3 million subscribers on YouTube. Well, it is not just the people of India talking about Modi, the world is now talking about him. But what is the secret behind his popularity? Prime Minister Modi is the boss. I don't need to tell anyone here. He is, he is the most popular world leader for a reason. I think you are an inspiration for the rest of the world. Which I think is the, the, the most uh, loved one of all around the world. Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, we owe you a depth of gratitude. I cannot imagine His Excellency Modi getting intimidated or being forced to take any steps. These were just some big leaders talking about the Prime Minister. There was also one instance where Australian leaders were jealous of him. In attendance uh, from both sides of politics, but I said to the Prime Minister this morning that every politician there last night was jealous of the fact that he was able to get 20,000 people chanting his surname <laughs> in unison on the other side of the world, uh, mainly at Labor Party functions, yes. And why not? During his Australia visit, the hall was roaring Modi. Even the Australian Prime Minister called him this. Prime Minister Modi is the boss. This is just one title. Even the Chinese media has once given him a nickname, Modi Laosian, meaning Modi the Immortal. But why? Well, there is no secret behind his popularity. There may be some reasons and we look at them one by one. First. The digital presence. Modi is active and how? On YouTube, Instagram and X. He is everywhere. His Man Ki Baat, a radio show streamed on Prime Minister Narendra Modi's YouTube channel has gained so much popularity since it started. This is because Man Ki Baat is not about politics. It's about the people. His posts have great power to influence people. Take the Lakshadweep incident for example. People are now ditching Maldives to be in the Indian islands. And this just after one video posted by Prime Minister Narendra Modi encouraging people to explore Indian islands. Second, he has promoted Indian culture across the world because he is able to understand it. In the Howdy Modi event, he said everything is fine in nine languages, all from India. And the response? Bharat mein. Sab acha hai. Sab changa si. Badaj majama the. Anta bagundi. Ella chenna gire. Ellam sokiyam. Sarva chan chalya hai. Shok khub bhalo. Sabu balachi. He speaks in Hindi in almost all his events, be it in any country, and this sends a strong message that India has accepted its culture to be its top priority. Third, his interaction with the largest diaspora in the world. Indians are almost everywhere and Modi has made a point that he interacts with Indians abroad every time he visits their country. And this diaspora has the power. Indians are gaining positions of power in big companies across the world. His vision for digital India uh, you know, was ahead of its time. Fourth, he is termed as the master orator. His way of addressing the audience looks very personal. He knows his pauses, puns and use of faces. His speeches have received standing ovations not only in India but across the world. Emotional touch is also a great factor. Whenever a team loses or wins, be it sports or the ISRO projects, Modi makes a point to talk to them and encourage them. Such videos go viral and create a strong impact on the leader's personality. Fifth, his global presence. 
Modi has made over 74 international trips visiting 66 countries since 2014. Whenever there is a global summit, India is represented by either the Prime Minister or a Union Minister. He is also very popular among the world leaders, who from touching his feet to friendly hugs have given him a lot of respect in many different ways. He is also very popular among the business leaders across the world, who now see India as a preferred investment destination. He really wants to do the right thing for India. Uh, he wants to be open, he wants to be supportive of new companies. I am a fan of Modi, so... <laughs> If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.